This is Randy with a Create Studio Pro tutorial on how to create layers of aura around your character. The key to creating the aura is using the color fill feature in the effects folder and then adjusting the scale and opacity for each aura. So let's get started. Once you have picked a character and given it some actions, duplicate the track. You can also duplicate the track by using the shortcut Ctrl D. Now open the effects collection and drag the color fill effect onto the bottom track. With the bottom track selected, open up properties in the settings panel. Increase the scale by about 5% and now you should see a solid yellow image of your character. Use the handles along the edges to size the aura. I believe the aura at the feet should be close to the character and further away at the character's head. The next step is to adjust the opacity of your track. Create Studio Pro has two methods for adjusting the opacity of the color fill, so let me show you both methods. First, let me move the top track over so only the color fill track is visible on the canvas. The opacity control in the properties panel will change the opacity of the yellow color as you can see here. The second method to change the opacity can be found by clicking on the effects and then clicking on overlay. Now, see what happens when the opacity here is lowered? You start to see the original character as the fill becomes more translucent. I found that adjusting the opacity using both methods was the best to create the aura effect. While I have the overlay panel open, I want my first level of aura to be a red color and I will set the opacity to 40%. Next, click on Settings and open the Properties panel. Here I will change the opacity to 60%. Great! That completes the first level of the aura, and the next step is to duplicate that track. Here, I use the shortcut Ctrl D. Select the bottom track and increase the scale in the Properties panel. Again, use the handles to size the aura appropriately. I want each aura level to be more translucent the further away from the character it gets. So I'm going to change the opacity from 60 to 50 on this track. Next, click on Effects, then Overlay to change the color. I will pick yellow. At this point, I will speed up the instructions as I add the two more tracks changing the size, opacity, and the effects color for each track. Now, there are four auras surrounding the character. In my case, one is red, yellow, blue, and green. To add more pizzazz, I shifted each aura track one frame from the track above it. OK. Select the second track and move it to the right by one frame. This will be easier to see if the timeline is expanded. Now select each track below and move them right one more frame than the track above it.
After testing it out, I am satisfied with the results. There you go. That is how to create the Aura effect. Good day, everyone, and happy creating.